Today I'm going to bring you a video on teleportation between objects and between areas of your choosing. Let me disable the sound and I'll show you what I mean. When I step into this area right here, I will be teleported to that platform over there. And it's as simple as that. Just easy teleportation. So, let me explain this to you. I'm going to take these platforms, and I'm going to copy them. I'm going to recreate what I did. Okay, so I started out with an area that I want to make teleport, that I want to use as a teleportation area. And I'm going to go to Area, then Shape, and then I'm going to set it to Follow Train Snap to Objects, and I'm going to click it around the Sides, hold on, actually. Modify, align, snap, align to grid. Whoops, that's not what I wanted, but. Hmm. Whoops. There we go, that'll work. Now we're going to go area, shape again. And then we're going to snap it around the edges of the platform and then change the height to fit over the head of the per of the player now to make sure this works you have to drag it down into the ground right here as you can see and there we go now I'm going to copy this actually I'm going to group it so I can easily rotate it. And let's say about the same place. I'm going to rotate it 180. And there we go. Now we have both platforms set up. Now all you have to do is go to entity and then area tr oh, and then triggers and then area trigger right here place it into your level like so and then click on your shape scroll down and then pick and then your area trigger now they're linked now comes the part of working with flow graph. Okay. So let me drag this over here. And I'll show you what I'm doing. One second, let me close up these windows. Okay. I'm going to click on my area trigger. Whoops. Right here. And then I'm going to click on my flow graph after I've clicked File, New. And then add the selected entity by right clicking and scrolling down to Add Selected Entity. This will add my area trigger to the level. Now we want to place a game start to enable the area trigger. So let's go Output and then Enable. And now the area trigger is enabled. Let me actually move it up here. There we go. The next thing we need to do is place an add node, movement, move entity to. We're going to set that right here. And then we're going to drag the enter to start. You can also choose the is inside option like this. But if you want, if you're doing instant teleportation, just do enter. Now we need to find the position that we're at right now. Let me actually see if I can. Hmm. I'm going to select this area. And I'm going to move this out of the way slightly. 
and you're going to see right up here, there are these numbers. It says cam position. This is short for camera position and where you're at at the moment. So go to, go to where you want to teleport, and then look at this. Now go to your move entity 2, and then set the destination for that. Use commas to separate the numbers. Use no spaces. So let's do 1093.08, comma, 1217.46, comma, and then 40 to keep it even, Oops. in terms of height. You can adjust this later if need be. Now, after we've done that, let me actually spawn really quick to make sure my mic doesn't shut off. After we've done that, we're going to need to add the entity that we're using, which will be yourself. So, let's click Add Node, Actor, Local Player. This basically means that this is you when you're playing. This is you. So, let's connect the Entity ID to right here on the top of Move Entity 2. Get that a little bit better and there we go now we can test this out by going over here jumping in. Whoops, I'm going to disable sound for a second jumping in and then uh, you're not going to be able to move so you're probably wondering why can't I move to actually allow yourself to move you want to place you want to, you want to change the uh, speed to any number that you want. So I'm going to set it at 1 just to show you both sides of this thing. So we can set it at 1 and I'll slowly get mo pushed across the level. Now I can't move and I'm stuck in this position. And it's kind of glitching around but that's okay. And as soon as I get right here I will drop down and I can run away. Now, if you want instant teleportation, you can change the speed to an insane number, such as 100,000. 10,000 also works, but it's like just like 100,000 cents. It's a pretty cool number. So there we go. I instantly spawned right over here. Now. If you want a teleporter that works in both directions, watch the next tutorial, which will be uploaded soon, and it may already be by the time you're watching this video. Or it may not yet, so be patient. So, yeah. Also, in the next, in another tutorial, which will maybe be the third part of the tutorial, is to how to make it look as if you're teleporting for real. Not like just an instant jump. Maybe. Uh, thank you for watching. Killing for Money, signing out.